So planning out your Sunday, partly cloudy, mostly sunny temperatures in the lower 40s. Not bad. This is above average, but once we factor in these gusty, breezy winds, we'll feel a good 10 degrees cooler pretty much all day long. And we do have strong winds. Wind advisory until 6 o'clock this evening for almost everyone across West Michigan. As we can see, wind gusts upwards of 40 and 45 miles per hour. We're already almost there this morning. So this will continue with these winds being out of the south and southwest pretty much all day long. Even as we get into your dinner hour, we'll still talking wind gusts upwards of 30, 35, maybe even 40 miles per hour. But once we get later into this evening, even really later into the overnight, still have winds, but a little bit calmer. We're talking wind gusts upwards of about 25 miles per hour through the overnight time frame. Partly cloudy conditions tonight as well. 31 degrees is where we'll drop back to. Then come Monday morning, we're starting off dry. Then we're going to start to get into our next system and I left the temperatures on here because it's going to be a really different spread and uh, we'll definitely change what kind of conditions you see depending on our temperatures. So pay attention to those as well. Here's a look Monday around your dinner hour. This is when this starts to move in from south to north and then once it settles in I-96 is going to kind of be our splitting point. At least that's what it looks like for now. I-96 on northward mainly talking wintry mix freezing rain. I-96 on southward we're talking just plain old rain and this will continue Monday overnight right into Tuesday. Well north, mostly northern Michigan will have the snow factor of this system. We will stick with that rain and freezing rain and wintry mix split. But look at this Tuesday afternoon. Check out that temperature spread. 23 degrees in Big Rapids talking 50 in three rivers. So very different conditions and temperatures depending on where you live on Tuesday. So we're going to hold on to this through Tuesday evening before then drying out. So difficult travel on Tuesday, especially once you get around I-96 and northward where we start to have that changeover to that wintry mix and any of this freezing rain. So Freezing rain, of course, means ice. A tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of ice possible it can be really dangerous stuff. It makes for difficulties on the roadways, even uh, weighs heavy on the power lines. So something we'll watch out for. But we do have the 40s the next couple of days before we start to get into this system. And then 35 degrees on Tuesday. Really, Tuesday is a hard day for temperatures. Depends on where you live with uh, what we just saw there on future track. But about a half an inch to an inch of rainfall. Again, some of that can be that freezing rain, especially north of I-96. But then behind the system, colder air in the 20s. And we will We'll have snow chances. Our next best chance of snow Wednesday or Thursday rather overnight into Friday with some light snow moving through.